Mainstream media ignores allegations from whistleblower and former Hunter Biden business partner Tony Bobolinsky. On Tuesday, Fox News aired an interview with Bobolinsky, which has since gone unreported by other major news outlets, including CNN, The New York Times, and The Washington Post. A recorded phone call between Bobolinsky and Biden associate Rob Walker aired during that interview, showing Walker allegedly warning going public about the Biden business deals would, quote, bury us all. This as Biden continues to deny that he had any knowledge of his son's dealings with foreign nations. And Tony Bobolinsky has remained behind the scenes until the release of Hunter Biden's laptop and illicit business dealings with Russia and China. When the Bidens denied the emails and blamed Bobolinsky, he decided to speak up. One America's Christina Bob has more from Washington. Yesterday evening on Fox News, Tucker Carlson broke a story about Anthony Bobolinsky, a former financial advisor to the Biden family. Tony Bobolinsky is a former business partner of Hunter Biden and served honorably in the U.S. Navy at the Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, one of the most elite commands in the Navy requiring top secret clearance. He then worked in international finance, structuring financial deals around the world in several different countries. It was for that reason that the Biden family sought him out and hired Mr. Bobolinsky. He had the requisite knowledge for how to structure deals internationally that the Biden family needed. Unbeknownst to Bobolinsky at the time, the Bidens intended to launder money from Russia and China and use the goodwill of the United States to profit personally. So why is Mr. Bobolinsky coming forward now? He says once the story broke of Hunter's nefarious business dealings, the Biden's denial and intentionally blaming Bobolinsky compelled him to speak. But for the Biden family to deny these facts and then not only deny them, they could have just said no comment, but they didn't say no comment. They then brought in Russian disinformation and basically associated my name with that, which is absolutely disgusting to me. And I had to go on the record. Mr. Bobolinsky spent 45 minutes with Tucker Carlson explaining that Joe Biden not only did, in fact, know a lot about Hunter's business, but Joe Biden himself was often calling the shots. He confirmed the emails and information recently released by the New York Post and provided additional text messages explaining how Joe Biden was calling the shots. Joe Biden specifically vetoed Mr. Bobolinsky's attempts to include governance and accountability into the Biden's companies. Here is a text message you received from Hunter Biden to you. Hey, Tony, I have an idea. In light of the fact that we are in an impasse of sorts and both James's lawyers and my chairman gave an emphatic no, I think we should all meet in Romania on Tuesday next week. And so you're hearing reporters say that chairman was, in fact, the Chinese government. Here you have Rob Walker responding to you. Clearly, there's some confusion over this. And he's saying, and I'm going to put this on the screen now. When he said, when Hunter Biden said his chairman, he was talking about his dad. Correct. There's two chairmen in the story. There's Chairman Yi, who is the chairman of CFC. Yes. In that text from Hunter Biden, he was not talk talking about the chairman of CFC. And what Hunter's referencing there is he spoke with his father, and his father is giving an emphatic no to the ask that I had, which was putting proper governance in place around Oneida Holdings. So Joe Biden is vetoing your plan for putting stricter governance in the company. According to the interview last night, Joe Biden knew exactly what Hunter was doing and was giving orders to avoid accountability. The companies Hunter Biden used to launder money, including Rosemont Seneca, were created to launder money to the U.S. from Russia to help Russian oligarchs reap the benefit of American financial security. The Bidens were receiving a percentage of the hundreds of millions of dollars they attempted to launder into the United States from Russia. The story continues to break, and One America's Chanel Rion is currently continuing to reveal the extensive network and schemes the Bidens used to launder $500 million from Russia, with 10% for the big guy. The Biden family personally pocketed tens of millions of dollars. Stay tuned as this story unfolds. I'm Christina Bob, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.